Hello there. Don't want to make anyone wait any longer, so real quick, welcome to Redditor, where we shamelessly ask you to subscribe and like the video if you enjoy it, and where we say to smash the bell and hate ourselves for it while we go down an existential crisis mentally that slowly eats away at you day after day, video after video late night of editing after late night of editing, until one day they find you on the roof barking at traffic with your underwear on your head blasting turn down for what from a speaker stuck in your whoa sorry blacked out there for a second anyway on with the video enjoy r slash just no mother-in-law my mother-in-law called me damaged goods for some context i'm 28 f and i'm a widow my husband was in the army and was killed in the line of duty after his passing i was in a dark place and i admit i was sleeping around i ended up pregnant with my dear daughter B.O. Dad belt, and I raised her as a single mom. About a year after my dear daughter's birth, I met this wonderful man who helped me heal. Long story short, we fell in love and were married. We currently have EB2, 3, and dear son, 1. I've always had a friendly conversation with my mother-in-law, not too over the top, but polite enough. Dear husband, me and the kiddos went over to mother-in-law's for a father day BBQ, restrictions are lifted where we live. All the kids were playing, and the guys were just drinking beer. I go inside the house to use the restroom, and when I walk back out to the yard, I hear mother-in-law chatting with her old biddies could do so much better. I hope he doesn't adopt dear daughter. She had a child out of wedlock, damaged goods. My mother-in-law has never spoken like that about me. She was pretty drunk. I haven't told my husband. I just think I'm overreacting. I'd confront her but that's mean. A drunk person just says what a sober person thinks. Beware though if you do confront her, be prepared for her to deny and say she never said that. That's a terrible thing to say. I would consider not letting your kids around adults that are drinking. Nothing good will come from it. So sorry you have to deal with this. I would be careful about alone time with your kids and your mother-in-law. Her drinking or not has no bearing on what she said. Her B.O. grandkids are one half you. So if she has that much ugliness toward you, then she can't be trusted to let that spill onto your kids. Be stubborn about this, that old cow sure has been. You've lived a lifetime in less than 30 years, sweetie, and I wish you much love and happiness. Please tell your husband. If this were my situation, I would limit contact for me and my children to the bare minimum. So my children would never hear the awful things mother-in-law says freely to others. You're amazing. The only damaged, and damaging, fornicate with is your mother-in-law. It's doubtful she understands the circumstances, that you became a young widow. I became a widow aged 30 after a bereavement by suicide, and it broke me. You did the responsible thing, and began your healing and nurturing an innocent child. How dare that mother-in-law deny any child the love and stable family, that a son wants to give. My hope is, that you can talk to your husband and hearing how disgusting and vicious that she was, and none of her friends called her out on it, that it solidifies him fully adopting such a precious low. What you have survived and created a beautiful family shows that you are far from being the damaged goods mother-in-law has constructed in her twisted mind. Look up Japanese kintsugi pottery. Absolutely beautiful, just like you. Bereavement leaves a person changed, but once put back together again and held by the glue of love. You're an incredible, unique person beautiful both inside and out. Mother-in-law, ugly on the inside. Feel nothing but contempt for how she views the lows differently. Looks around the house for a paper calendar I didn't realize it was 1950 again. I guess I'll go find my frilly apron and live on my so's much lower income since I shouldn't use my brain to support myself. Seriously though, your mother-in-law has some very archaic thoughts about family and motherhood. You are not damaged goods because you had a child which you are supporting and take care of and love. That you were able to overcome such heartbreak should be applauded, not weaponized. It doesn't matter how the nobled was conceived. Reply. You have so much more control than I do. No way I would not have said something, caused a scene, and never had contact with mother-in-law again. I know it hurts, but honestly her opinion of you doesn't matter, it only matters what your husband thinks of you, and second to that how he reacts to his shitty mother for her comments. Do you have an update, X? Oh my god she's fornicating damaged in the soul. The lack of love and compassion just astounds me. 
My middle daughter has the care of her stepkids and soon will have full court ordered guardianship. I love those kids. As though they are my bio grandkids. All children deserve to be loved and cherished. I'm appalled at your JNMIL. You really need to have private conversation about this incident with your DH. No, you are not. And if you think about it, oldest dear daughter is treated differently by her. The alcohol just showed you who mother-in-law truly is, and you better believe it. Keep your kids away from her. She is toxic, especially your oldest. I should know. I was a troubled child, depressed and forced to grow up early because my mother was mentally ill. I had enough and left to live with my father. Long story short, I was in counseling and there was a family session. The counselor asked my father what he thought was a problem and his response was one I have never forgotten. I don't know where to begin. Her mother gave me a box of damaged goods and that does not remotely appear to be my daughter. I'm 47. He said that to me when I was 16. I was almost 30 before I ended all contact with him. My blood boils every time I hear that because no one is damaged goods. It still haunts me too. Don't make dear daughter live with that. I'm so sorry Opus. You mother-in-law is an ass. You are not overreacting. The good news is you now know her true feelings. I would tell your DH what happened and how even though you know she was wasted you feel really hurt by it like any normal human. His reaction will tell you. If he is a dear H or a damn H I hope he is mortified. Hugs to you. Sweet Opus. Drunk people say what sober than truly thinks. Tell your husband. When people show you who they are, believe them. Alcohol doesn't lie, it helps reveal the inner truth. You're not overreacting, and for her to use your past against you as a point of gossip is trashy as fornicate. Absolutely tell your husband, you are doing him no favors, by shielding him from his mother's comments. Thank you for watching. Go enjoy the rest of your day.